What's going on, guys? Today. Is that me? I think it must have been me. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. It's fine uh, somewhere. <laughs> anyway, we're uh, talking today about comic book movies, right? Uh -huh. um, because Zack Snyder's cut of the movie is going to, we is coming out. Hold on. We got us playing somewhere. Where are we playing at? I don't know. Um, I'm going to just power through. <laughs> comic book movies. Um, we're going to be talking about those because Zack Snyder's movie is coming out. Dude, did you hear how long it is? No. It's four hours long. Four hours. That's two movies. They just released them in two. When was the last time that there was a movie um, that long in the theater? I don't even think Titanic's that long. And remember mm -hmm. how Titanic, you had to use two VHS? Long. Yeah. You'd yeah. Have to, you, and if you got the DVD, you'd have to flip that bitch around too. <laughs> You're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not going to yeah. get through this. Which right. one's the one where she's naked? Um, <laughs> yeah. I want to go to that part. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but comic book movies, I want to talk about those because this movie's coming out. It, I heard it's great because it has more of Dark Side, which Dark Side in that movie looks freaking. Did you reference, did you say the movie you're referencing here? Because I think you only Justice said Justice League. The, there you go. Snyder's Cut or yeah. something like that. Think yeah, you just, you just said the. Uh, you guys all know what I'm uh, talking about. <laughs> if my fandom doesn't, then you are in the wrong place. No, you're not. Just stay here and like and subscribe. Anyway. Um, <laughs> stay so, yeah. here. You'll get there eventually. Yeah. So <laughs> Justice League, uh, Zack Snyder's take on it, because he was actually cut like three-fourths through the movie, and then mm -hmm. they had to like redo the whole ending and stuff like that. That movie did not do well. DC doesn't do as well other than Batman. No. On their Marvel uh, – uh, on their Marvel uh, – compared to Marvel, yeah. You're yeah. right. They don't. However – um, their like sitcom shows mm -hmm. kill it. Yeah, like I think they're way better. Oh yeah. I don't think it's... Wandavision's that great. <laughs> I don't think that. Uh, what are no. the other ones that? Oh, Shield. I didn't think was that good. Yeah. So. Uh. Oh yeah. I forgot. Shield Agents was of other. Shield. Yeah. Where some good ones. Now don't get me wrong. Th so I love Arrow. Arrow has my favorite. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I love that. My one. favorite comic book character, which is Deathstroke, which you yeah. guys could obviously tell since my video on cosplaying. If you haven't <laughs> checked that out, please check the uh, top left corner when I post this on YouTube. Anywho, um, so it has him. It's really good, except yes. except the love drama. Well, love drama too, because those it's girls a, are banging. Yeah. Well, except that girl cries all the time. This is one Which problem. One? The the main girl he's that he cheats on in the beginning. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, his main the, girl. Yeah, she's got a long face. Uh, yeah. Canary. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she cries all the time. Yeah, like, she does. Like literally every thirty seconds, and that bugs me. <laughs> like I would really like that character because I like Black Canary, but mm. she will not stop crying, and for some reason I don't do well with anybody crying. I don't oh. know why. When people Jay doesn't cry, have a sensitive no, heart. No, I do because like I'll cry. I'll cry right Thick now. Skin. No, I'll cry right now. You show me Homeward Bound when the dog can't get up the thing. I'll cry like now. Okay? But she cries all the time. Like, that's all you do is you mm -hmm. see her cry. Um, and so it just kind of. I love the Flash, by the way. The Flash is good. Oh, yeah. That was a good, good one. Um, um, I love the character. Supergirl. The only problem I, I have with that. Supergirl is it, it. I really like the characters and the stories and that, but. They get so involved, like, they try and, like, include real world, like, politics and religion and yeah. things like that. When it, it just, it's like you're losing the show. Like, I want to see Supergirl beat up people. Yeah. And fight aliens. And she talks about other stuff. And I just, it gets kind of lost yeah, sometimes. Stop talking, Supergirl, and start beating people. Less talky or talky, stand, more hitting, hitting. Or she can stand there because she's beautiful. She's good, gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> The reason why I don't like those CW shows is because they always do this scene roughly every five minutes. They'll be like, so they'll be like, um, so what are you what are you going to do, Arrow? And he'll be like, <laughs> I'm gonna go down there, <laughs> like every time, dude. It's a soap opera, dude. It's they a soap are. opera. They really for, are. It's. Because you can't it's even days of our lives. Uh, yeah, what, <laughs> you can't even lives. like. Um, it's really hard to like jump from one season to the next without watching the one before because, like, even like the love circles and the drama that way, you you lose it all. Yeah, 
I would, so. so Mortal Kombat, the second movie, has a feature in the DVD where they cut out all the story part and just show you the fights. Mm. I would love for them to do Arrow with that, but get rid of all the the stairways mm. where they just look out and, <laughs> and then they like zoom out. If they got rid of that, that show would be about 20 minutes long. Yeah, It'd but, be a great 20 minutes, but it would be 20 minutes long. <laughs> but if you think about it, like if, if I'm a superhero, you know, in, in real life, if I become one and... I'm going to pause and like stare like that. I'm gonna like, even if I'm gonna hope there's cameras around and I'll just pause and go. <laughs> it's just at what because I'm that's use, what I think you're supposed to do as a superhero. See, I'm going to use a lot of the Batman voice, and the crappy thing is, I'm not that good with words. Right? Batman's good with. Are words. Are you using the the Christian Bale? Um, yeah, you got to do a little dark. Like I'm not gonna use my mouth like he does. Like, yeah, you can. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I don't know where I've been. What? <laughs> hey. Hey. Uh, Jersey Devil, you need to stop. <laughs> no, I don't know. I now need to use Google Maps. <laughs> yeah, now, all of a sudden, you're an Australian Batman. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't. I, I have I, a problem with uh, voices, which you'd mm. think I'd be good because of D&D, but no. I, I, you know what? Um, one I really like. I don't I don't know if you were moving beyond or not, but uh, or past or whatever. But, no, I wasn't. Uh, that's okay. Daredevil. I like Daredevil. Did you watch those? Uh, was yeah, it, so that was, yeah, so that was so a good. really good thing. Ah, here yeah. it is again. But they have to. I mean, it's for the TV, and yeah. they have to add certain things. But That is some of the best choreographing mm-hmm. that I've ever seen in a uh, yeah, the, the fight the fighting looks real yeah. it's real fighting it's not like like I love uh, Claude Van, uh, John Claude Van Damme but he does like the double splits kick kicks two dudes yeah. that would not hurt enough they'd be like oh, okay <laughs> let's go and then they'd be done right they'd be ready back out no, I'm pretty sure they would flip backwards yeah no that's exactly what, no 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 because they always have to repeat their things uh, but it, it, like Street Fighter, <laughs> Jesus. <Yeah>. No. <laughs> uh, uh, not the point. So I should be in video games. You should. Um, just, if you have a future in voice over video game yeah, acting. Yeah, it's just Street Fighter. <laughs> That's all I got. Uh, but uh, so we – uh, that had really good choreographing. Like he would elbow guys, and he would do yeah. stuff that was like legit martial arts stuff. Yeah. And that's why you know what one really disappointed me was um, Iron Fist. Iron Fist. That I knew really because because okay, one he's supposed to be just as awesome as Daredevil. He actually yeah. beats him a couple times in hand to hand combat. Right. He's supposed to be a Shaolin monk. So I'm gonna be honest. Uh, curly haired white boy who ends up being a Shaolin mm. monk. I'm like that's my dude. And in the comics, he's pretty awesome. Yeah. Nah, he's okay. But he's he's cool. Okay, well, so then if he's okay and kind of cool in the, the comics, that's all he has to be in the show. But they don't make him that. They make him a pussy. They're like, uh, Especially Luke at first. Well, yeah. okay, well, okay, when he first comes back, they, he, I, like, they set him up to be super tough and, yeah. like, chill and monk and, like, mm. and then season two, I think it is, yeah, he's, like, He's a pansy. Well, and you could tell that he's not very liked. So Luke Cage was liked very well. Mm-hmm. Daredevil was liked very well. Uh, yeah. Jessica oh, what's Jones. The, Jessica Jones. Mm-hmm. Jessica Jones was liked really. Yeah. All of them just kick his butt. And I'm like, yeah. guys, he's supp- one. He's supposed to be better at martial arts than Jessica Jones and right. Luke Cage. Right. Um, like make him good. And they were like, no, this guy. Get rid of him. I was. I'm going to be honest. I was very disappointed mm. with him. I it, they, especially the shows were a little bit slow. Uh, but I did like. I liked. I, of course, I watched them. I was a little disappointed they didn't come back. Um, on any on uh, Daredevil or um, uh, that's because Netflix Netflix lost the uh, yeah, and so now they're gone. But and that's unfortunate. Punisher was really good though. I, I love yeah, the that Punisher was good. series. Punisher. He is did awesome. a good job. Oh yeah. He, uh, he he was another one. Batman voice. He has a kind of a good Batman voice anyway. Yeah, but I I don't think it was as uh, like the, the Are you kidding me? He's like, I'm going to kill you, Jigsaw. You're like, yeah, but bro. right, right, but he I don't know, there's something that bothered me about the Christian Bale Batman. It's his, it's his mouth. It's got to be because it if you look at it, drove me insane to listen to him. <laughs> Swear to me, 
You're like, oh my god. Yeah, I. No. I no. By the way, if anybody says swear to God around me, I, that's always the first thing that comes into my mind. <laughs> if you do that, I like. I no, I didn't. I swear to God. All I just know that all I want to do is grab you and go <laughs> swear to me. <laughs> um, if I was a superhero, that's the things I would be looking for. I'd be like, did you do it? They'd be like, no. I'm like, you promise? <laughs> They're like, yeah. I'm like. Do you swear? They're like, yeah, I swear. I'm like, who do you swear to? Swear to God. Swear to... Like, I would push them into it. I'd be a terrible superhero. Because I'd be looking just for awesome yeah, moments. Yeah, you would be an idiot. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I Like, so since we're talking about that 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 Batman, Bane, I loved that Bane. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did. I was in the middle. I, so, I loved... I loved it. I just... his His voice just like... I How love the I actor. Uh, I wasn't as fond of the, just like, oh, what are we doing? We're going to here. <laughs> like, one, he's supposed to be Hispanic, um, which is fine. It doesn't have to be. Tom Hardy no, is fine. awesome. He's English, but right. now he's Russian. Um, <laughs> well, he goes, I yeah, and he, no the, the venom doesn't make him any bigger. He's just a big dude. Yeah. Uh, but also, he's supposed to be very smart, and he's just like, you know, I oh, figure grace are good. I follow him. <laughs> You're like, okay. I, I, yeah, I, I think he got caught up in the uh, whole, like, uh, follows her and loves yeah. her too much. and uh, they, It was cool. But, but but I guess you also have to consider a lot of these shows that they make, um, they're catering to the people that don't read the comic books. They're yeah, catering to the people that are going to go watch the show. And I don't want to be one of those guys that are like, oh, that wasn't like the comic books, right? Because it's like you you should have some your own freedom to it, and I'm totally should, fine with that. should, but if you go completely off script, that's kind of bad, too. Well, here's my – It was. Uh, have you ever seen the movie Max Payne? Yes. You might as well not call that Max Payne. No. You might as well call that um, Mark – Marky Mark <laughs> goes around New York beating the shit out of bitches because <laughs> – that's all he does, right? Yeah. Like it has almost zero to do with the game. Right. They name the drug after him. Like nobody looks the same. No. You yeah, might as well not call not it. Like job. why call that guy Bane? Right? Just so mm. the people go, look, that's Bane. Um, I like yeah, I said. I, I suppose I see where you're coming from on it. So yeah, that's the reason why I'm. Like, if you take so much away from a superhero, then why call it that? You know what yeah. I mean? Yep. To fill a role and so people get excited to be like, oh yeah. What about um? Uh, Venom. Did you watch the I movie? I didn't see Venom, uh, and I really I, should have because I, I've heard some good things. Here was, here's I, another problem. I enjoyed it. They make, I know, I know that this is me nitpicking, yep. but the Venom I like, uh, Brock, what's his name? Something Brock. Eddie Brock. Eddie Brock doesn't like Venom. He's always like if you, if you watch, like read a lot of comic stuff, mm-hmm. Venom comes off him. He's like, "Kill me!" And then Venom's like, "No, bitch!" And then he eats him again. Um, it was still I, like I saw parts of it that I really liked. I don't and like it's, it. Th- it's 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 got parts of that, especially in the beginning. That's what it is. Yeah, they make him like an anti villain, which he kind of is, right? He's yes, kind of. He he like helps Batman out sometimes. And, yeah, yeah. Or Batman, Spider Man, Spider Man, a different universe. <laughs> uh, he does help him out every once in a while, and that's the thing. I'm like, if they're playing into Venom. And Spider Man mm-hmm. fighting um, Carnage. Okay, yeah. I'm totally down with that. Yeah. Let's let's make him a good guy just because I want to see Woody Harrelson act all crazy <laughs> and watch just oh the Carnage. It would be so amazing. Um, so that's definitely uh, something I'd be down for. So I didn't watch that one. Um, I think you would enjoy it. It's not a typical. Um, it's not a. It's not a typical superhero show. I I enjoyed yeah. it. Uh, I Venom is one of my favorites, um, and I cool. do yeah I do like Venom a lot, and I thought they did a pretty good job. I I'm not I wasn't huge on the ending, but I do like like he's got almost like a split personality going on. Yeah, and I loved that. Well, and that, it's like <clears throat> it's a dark personality too. Yeah, it's not it's not like cuddly and warm and oh we're gonna beat it. It's like I'm going to eat and kill this person, and then he's like. But don't do – Yeah. I do like that. Well, and that's kind of the whole thing behind it is Brock right. – Eddie Brock is usually kind of a douchebag, right? He picks on mm-hmm. Peter Parker. Then he gets this thing, and at first he likes it because it gives him a lot of power. And then towards the end he's like, hey, I don't like this because I don't have control, right? right. Which anybody um, – along those lines, what do you think are the three worst superhero movies? 
three worst three super- worst superhero movies. <clears throat> oh boy. Um, um, I'm not talking about like to watch now because I think a lot of guys would say Batman 1989 if you weren't around for that time. But you can at least for 1989. Who was, who was in the 89 one? Jack Jack Nicholson and oh, Michael hell no, Keaton. Dude, I loved those. Well, yeah, yeah. but I'm saying because th- I think if you <laughs> ask a lot of people now, they'd hate those. Yeah, but it's it's it's, it's I, for the time. I think I don't know if it was this podcast or somewhere else. I I gave this. So a lot of people get hung up on the nostalgia of what something was. If you went back and looked at it and watched it, it's garbage. Pete. Uh, Puff to Magic or Puff to Magic uh, Pete's Dragon yeah you know the show I'm talking mm-hmm. about back in the 70s or 80s whenever yeah. it came out and he's the cartoon dragon people love that they remade it have you seen the remake of it no okay the remake is better because it's all CGI yeah. it looks like the, the dragon is fake but looks real it doesn't look like a cartoon and people shit on it because well it's not what it was well no kidding it's not supposed to be what yeah. it was it's supposed to be what it is so a lot of people get hung up on that, and and for that particular Batman, that's where I'm at with that one. So I'm not going to vote that one. Um, I would have to say well, though, that's what I'm saying. Do like, it for not for the times, but for like legitimately. There's like so huge the, flaws in it. So the the um, uh, it's Batman that has uh, Jim carries the Joker. It has uh, Poison Ivy. Nope, different ones. Yeah, that's no, how crappy uh, they are. Yep, different movies. You, okay, are so those you have, the George Clooney ones? Yeah, so George Clooney, um, and I actually Val think it's Kilmer. Michael. It's Val Kilmer. Val yeah. Kilmer. So Val Kilmer is Jim Carrey and um, the guy who always looks like Two Face. Sh- yeah, yeah. You shot him in the face. What's his name though? Uh, you're not like you shot him in the face. Like you shot him, he always just doesn't seem happy. He's also in Men in Black. Uh, something <laughs> oh, yeah. jumps. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who you're talking about. Yes. And uh, then, and that's then right. Uma Thurman and, Uma Thurman is, and uh, is is uh, Poison, Poison Ivy, Ivy, and then Mister Freeze, Freeze is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Terrible. Okay, oh. so those are one, those two. two. <laughs> okay, so good, <laughs> good choices. Um, and then my third is going to be the Tobey Maguire Spider Man when he has Venom in it. Okay, so that's what we really wanted to talk about. Okay, <laughs> I, that you pretty much me off you, you so pretty much bad. picked my three least favorite movies. <laughs> It so, pisses me off so bad to watch that one. So I'm gonna go over. I just each... got done saying that Venom was one of my favorites, and that pissed me off. So let's. I'm gonna go over why each one of those pissed me off. Okay, you guys are in for the ride. Strap yourselves in. So <laughs> the first one, Jim Carrey does not act like the Riddler at all. No, the ju- the I don't riddles know what are it, stupid. He, he he reminded me of um or the the Joker in um Suicide Squad. Oh, Jared Leto. He, those two characters remind me very much of and each other. And I agree. Other. I think that if he was more of a Joker, I could have totally gotten right. behind Right, he was that. not a Riddler. He was not a Riddler. Ah, uh, I love Jim Carrey and his acting and his, and his yeah. comedy acting, especially. I did not like that. No, 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 no. Not even I'm a little bit. Thing, I think that he took that, I think they just recast, honestly, the casting was the bar, the bad part, right? Because in that one you have Nicole Kidman as a girl. Ooh, yeah. she's fine. Uh, Val Kilmer was good looking at the time. Yeah. So that was a good, I think that was a good cast. That was a good Bruce Wayne. Good Bruce Wayne. That's the thing. We'll, we'll go into that <laughs> later of like what makes, honestly, I, I know we're going to go into this later. I think the best Batman that played both was Ben Affleck. So do I. I do it. I agree. I agree. <laughs> Y'all are wrong. Don't hate. Don't at me. I just learned that. Did that? Did I work oh, it? Okay, yeah, I did it right. Yeah. So don't at okay. me. So anywho. Uh, that the reason that was bad. Two Face had that it was god awful. Yes, you might as well have just painted. It, it was like when uh, my kids come up and be like, "Hey, we want to have like flesh falling off our face for Halloween." I'm like, "Okay, what did we buy at Walmart?" Yeah, and I well, put some makeup on. That's there. the thing. It's worse than that. <laughs> I so I did my own Two Face <laughs> for uh, the joke, the Dark Knight. Okay. When I went to the the release of the Dark Knight, um, and I, I went as Two-Face, so I went and got a suit. I had a tie that was black and white. Um, it was actually Scarface, but I hid that. It was just black yeah, and white. Yeah. I have the coins. Um, I messed up my hair, and then I painted my face, and we did a bunch of the makeup on my face, and it honestly looked pretty good. It kind of sucked to constantly have your eye up, but <laughs> and your like, mouth all curly, but it was really – it was so good. Um, and I'm like, when I was – I'm sitting there going, like, as I'm doing, I'm like, I look better than Jones did. I can't remember his name, but Jones. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up. Um, and I'm like, this is so stupid. 
And you know, so it wasn't even that good. That one was stupid for those reasons. And then oh, it's like, Batman Forever. Batman Forever. That's what it is. And yeah. the other one's Batman and Robin. Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones. I knew it was Tom Jones. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. Uh, yeah. So that yeah, one was bad. Was... He was just like, nah, oh, what's the riddle me this, Batman? What's ga-? It's just so stupid. And he's like, is it, it's a bat. And he's well, like, he does yeah. like the, like, his, um, the mask. Did you see yes. Jim Carrey with the, in the mask? It's the same character essentially because yeah. he does like the weird body movements yeah. and like, that was just kind of his thing during that era. During that like five years, it's but, all he played. But he made a lot of money, so what? He, I mean, yep. I'm gonna do the same damn thing if they keep paying me millions to yeah. do it. Next one, Batman Robin. You got Chris O'Donnell as Robin. That's pretty good. George Clooney, <clears throat> yep. great Bruce Wayne. Yes, terrible Batman. Agreed. I'm not scared yeah. of George Clooney. No, like, even it, if he had a gun, not really that you're scared. Like, oh, that's a handsome jawline. Yeah, exactly. What are you gonna do to me, Batman? Well, yeah, and also he taught. He doesn't change his voice Mm-mm. the whole time. You're sitting there going like, George Clooney? Um, <laughs> no, I'm Batman. No, George, seriously, get out. Um, that yeah. movie with Batman so and Robin. Uma Thurman. Honestly, this honestly hurts my heart to say because I think Ooh. Uma Thurman is worse than a dude. But it was But <laughs> she I I, I love Uma Thurman. Um You do? Yeah. She was in uh well, she was the Kill Bills. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I loved those. Yeah, those are good movies, but she is not attractive. I well by any we can stretch. agree to disagree, but they have the best bat girl. Yeah, they do, for sure. Like has there been a better one? Well I don't think no. there's been another one. There is in the uh um <clears throat> in Arrow and oh, all we don't count those. Yeah, I know, but she's she's pretty good. She's too. she's a but babe. Alicia Silverstone. Yeah, Alicia Silverstone. <laughs> I'll do it, guys. And I'm like, girl, you fine. <laughs> You're clueless though. <sighs> Thing. Uh, so. Yeah, George Clooney. Back to what you were saying. So you okay. Just, so you're you're. They thought they're like, hey. Who are we going to get to be Mr. Freeze, a super smart, intelligent scientist? Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> That's the first person I can think of. What? That was your, you like, know. bing? No. no. Oh, it was awful. It it's was awful. Like, he, he's a pretty terrible You're going actor. to freeze. And I'm like, <laughs> stop. No. No. He's a pretty terrible actor to begin with like he nailed the terminator because he had to act like a robot and it was fine because well and nobody went into that movie going i hope the acting's good yeah (laughs) they were just like hope they blow shit up yeah like and oh arnold's a robot yeah but then you like mr free like what again the sad the sad part uma thurman dude i remember every time i watched that movie i would be i was very disappointed Oh my god, dude! Every, the, the one when she's that. sitting, dude, I could, I could it, probably it, go and right it's now. Got, like the, the vines, vines every, she's like, uh, come here, and she like kisses him, and then he's like, I got fake lips on, <laughs> and you're like, what? <laughs> That's all it takes is a rubber. Um, <laughs> I was immediately, I'm like, <laughs> well, her protection works. <laughs> I'm like, oh okay. Well, I'll, I'll throw my fly in her kids. Venus fledge, huh? What's up, baby girl? Uh. Now that I'm an adult, I'm like, how did she get me? Dude, legit, she's hot in that movie. Kill Bill, they show her nasty feet that I just want to cut them <laughs> off. They're like, wiggle the toes. I'm like, can we get rid of this? Who was the editor in this? Who was who was producing this movie that they were like, keep the feet in? Gross. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think that the, that movie had so many bad – dude, it was so bad. Uh, mm. It's so bad. It was, oh, my God. It was just – Yeah, bad yeah bad. It, now, not good. On to Spider-Man 3. Now, another sad thing. I probably watched that movie, I think, 20 times in theaters. Because every time <laughs> I went, I was hoping, you were hoping to get better. I was hoping to get better. Like, no, that was a dream, bro. Let's go again. Dude, legit, I saw that movie 20 times in theaters probably in the That's first a, week it came out. What a waste of your time. And money. Um, so we watched Mostly that. Mostly your money, yeah. Because uh, oh, lo- I love black suit Spider-Man. The yes. coolest Spider-Man. Yeah, it is. Yeah. By far. I'm not a huge. I would agree. I'm not a like a diehard Venom fan, but love Black Suit Spider Man. B b b badass. Uh, that, cause that in the um, if anybody remembers the animated series was the first time he could use yeah. it without uh, using webs without using his canisters. Right. Which going back to that that uh, that series of Spider Mans didn't need that. 
Right. So it was almost pointless. And he's just like, now he's feeling. So, okay. So, some stupid parts. So, the, the so music. those three. Okay. The first one, I, I, we're just a real quick breakdown of the first and second. Like, <clears throat> the, it going away from the comic books. Okay. Like you said, you got, you got a little play, right? Yeah. Like he gets bit, and now he can produce the things yeah. the spider can. Okay. Fine. He doesn't need the canisters to do it. I can, Okay. Fine. That's fine. But then. Now you move him to Black Suit Spider Man, it kind of loses that. Well, and that's those movies degrade it. Like they slowly yeah, went did. downhill, right? Because the first movie, I'm going to remember when I saw Green Goblin, I'm like, boom, that's what it should be, right? That was a cool suit, I thought. But I, you know what I didn't like about the Green Goblin in it is I felt like he was Power Rangers. Because you know yeah. how on Power Rangers, they've always got the th- Whoops. They've always got a thing in there like, um, doing the, this and it's like we could get you but you yeah. never see faces or mouths or and then even the bad guys they're worse like at least the power rangers they're wearing a mask to cover themselves so fine yeah but the the bad guys it's like an action is, what is the name of those bad guys keep going <laughs> but they've got like a mouth and teeth and it just never moves it's like yeah but uh, i did like i love this voice i love how he went crazy He's like he, i'll get you spider-man and you're like Yes, like so I'm gonna be honest. His, yes, he did good. I didn't like the 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 mask. On See, it. I didn't it mind it me. that much because it looked it looked like some that was pretty good. I liked it. I didn't mind it. I actually really liked it. I just said that. <laughs> I really liked it. Don't sway my opinion. I loved it. The second movie, I see Doc Ock. I'm not a huge Doc Ock no. fan anyway, and they made him stupid because he's like, oh, I should kill <laughs> Spider Man. <laughs> okay. Steal stuff? <laughs> okay. It made him schizophrenic? Like, <laughs> what? Why Does, did it... Doesn't he control? Yeah, the... but no, but I don't know if you know this. A little LED broke right here. Dunzo. <laughs> now it's in his spine, and these things have conscience, because he gave them AI. Yeah. <laughs> and then at the end, he's like, no, Spider-Man, I'll blow me up. And he, like, starts breaking stuff. Uh... And I'm like, dude, so stupid. So dumb. And also, <sighs> Kirsten Dunst, not hot. Mm. I, I'm sorry. For like, the don't time, wrong. I'm busted. Time. Not even for the time. I would, no, I have no. a disagree. That's why they picked her. Because could she act? God, no. When this thing's... Sp- whatever. I didn't even think Tobey Maguire was that good, but I'm I like, okay. Either. He's kind of a nerd. He looks nerdy. Third movie. So I'm like, that's the thing. I already had low hopes from the second movie, because I'm like, that movie sucked. Mm third movie comes on i'm like it's got black suit they they're trying to like make up it's got sandman all right we can do this they'll he'll get black suit. he'll be sandman and venom will come and they'll have to have a battle it'll be great so eddie brock is toby mcguire who's roughly 115 pounds yep which is good because eddie brock was roughly 250 pounds of muscle <laughs> and then uh he's supposed to be a jock right he's supposed to be uh-huh. a jock yeah. Again, when you're going past from movie, I'm like, so why? So he's just who? Ooh. Who was he in that? What do you mean? Uh, okay, so he was Eddie Brock. Yeah, well, uh, Topher Grace was it? Oh, Brock? I said Tobey Maguire. Topher Grace. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. I'm like wait, the guy that, from '70s show. Spider-Man. The guy from that '70s show. Yeah, they got a handsome face. That's how they did. Mm. Consider the times. And I'm busted, so I can't really talk. Yeah, you can't. Um, so you have that and then I love so he puts on black suit spider black suit right and uh not being racist that's ju- it's the that's black what it's suit. called that's what they're called don't want to get relax. Ch- I don't want to get canceled so <laughs> he he's watching he has black suit and he's like okay so they're like he has to be emo now his way of yeah. being emo is this he's like I'll he's, swagger well no he one, the music is like boom, bitch, kink, bitch, kink, bitch, kink, bitch, kink, boom, bitch, <laughs> yeah, I'm kink, saying kink. he's like strutting down, and then and then he's like, he puts on a black suit, like a like an actual suit with yeah. a jacket. And he's like, <gasps> then he looks in the mirror. He's like, <laughs> and you're like, that's it. And then he's like randomly dancing with a girl. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I... and I'm like, that. All right, Toby Maguire, you need Mm-mm. to go, bro. Mm-mm. Like you suck. Um, the director needs to get fired. They should have stopped yeah. the movie there. They should have been like, "Ah, oh, we <laughs> fooped <Oops>. up." 
Everybody cancel. <laughs> We're not going to release this. That's garbage. Who thought that went? This is it right That's here. That's it, big guy. High five. <laughs> it's nobody. <laughs> um, and then they fight Sandman at the end. He's like, no, I'm good. And then, oh, dude, it was just garbage from front to back. Yeah. And then Sa- Sa- Ho- and what's, the, what's the Hobgoblin? Uh, yeah, Hobgoblin. Well, it's not. He's not. He's not called Hobgoblin in that movie. He's called like New Goblin or something. Green Goblin Junior. Yeah, and he, it's like it's uh, him with he's... a paintball mask on. It's James Franco, yeah. in a paintball mask. I don't even know if they have his real like. His and he's on name. a snowboard. <laughs> what <laughs> was the budget for that movie? Five dollars? <laughs> because it seems like it was. <laughs> I'm trying to find the characters, and I don't know. It just says no, his name. Just says garbage. Oh. It says that movie was stupid. Oh my gosh. Oh, New Goblin. Yeah, he's it New is Goblin. New Goblin. Yeah. I, dude, I know my shit when it comes. When to you comics. watched it 20 times in the yeah, theater, I should, like right? an idiot. Well, I do it legit every time. Why I went would in, you like, do that? Because I want it to be good. I I watched it once and went, huh? That feels weird. And then I watched it later when it came out, and I was like, yeah, still. it, it Still. Second movie I really wanted to be good that I probably watched too much was Wonder Woman. Not that Wonder Woman was a bad movie, but... The, the recent one, like, just a couple of years ago? Mm-hmm. She is so hot. Yeah. She is so hot. I I, I don't know. I, I found it to be, like, um, if we're going on a, a scale of 10, it's like a 6... On a scale of three, it's like a two and a half. Like, I didn't, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. I was Me like, Me either. But she was so hot. Yeah, but that only goes so far in a show. Not. Yeah, I know. But it's nice that you get to like look at her. <laughs> look, I absolutely hate feet. I would suck on her toes. I hate feet more than anybody. <laughs> Believe then there me. was that foot scene. Yeah. Uh, wrong movie. Yeah. Jay, wrong movie. If there was a movie. That, anyway, uh, she was. That was one I watched quite a bit. Just and it wasn't that great. I agree. It wasn't yeah. that great. Like I'm um, not over the. I'm not over the moon about it. But I. Yeah. I didn't hate it. I'd watch it again. Uh, other comic. So the Justice League. Uh, let's kind of go on Justice League since oh, man, that was. I, yeah, you, your opener. Yeah. Let's I circle wish, back to that. I wish. Now. Me personally, I love that show because I love all I love each of those characters individually. Mm-hmm. I love them. And I think they're great. So when you put them all together, I was excited about it. And it may have been a little bit over the top or um not but I still enjoyed that show. I really, really liked it. I didn't mind it as much because people crapped on that show. And here's the thing. I think that D C does dark movies better. Than Marvel uh-huh. does. Oh, I yeah. think that Marvel has done a better job at making their heroes cool. Yeah. And like likable. Like every day. Every shows, day. Yeah. Well, and they're like, well, no, they're they're super overpowered, right? Yeah. So there's never really this crazy struggle. That's why when Thanos does it, it's kind of like this big deal is because it's right. this like, you know, ender of all. And so that was really good that they're able to take that. But I think like Batman. Batman's always really dark. Well, well, in the first Batman, so Batman versus Superman. I was just going to say Batman versus Superman. He's yeah. burning that thing on that guy. I'm like, okay, so this is like a dark take. And I think that's why DC did it. And I then, think they realized they weren't going to be able to keep up with Marvel. So they're like, let's take a different take. Well, you and, said that they make their guys, their superheroes over powerful. Like Superman loses. Yeah. He's Superman and he loses, which is awesome because yeah. it sets it up for the next one, which I think they waited if I had a complaint, one of my biggest complaints about that show is they waited too long to bring Superman back. Yeah. Felt like it took forever. What's your favorite? I have one favorite part of that show. Of Batman versus Superman? No, no, no. Uh, of Justice, Justice League. League. You go ahead. When they're all fighting Superman and the Flash runs in and it slows down and Superman tracks him with his yeah, eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. That, that's how I would say <laughs> yeah. that. That's my favorite part of that because – Flash is probably one of my favorite characters of all time. If I had that, sp- I I would love that speed. Aside from being invisible, um, I wish that I had his speed. Okay, so here's my thing with people that choose invisibility as their power. One, kind of silly. Two, <clears throat> it is only perverts. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not like I wouldn't use it's my only speed villains. for the. I would use my speed for the same thing. It's only villains, right? <laughs> it's only villains. Anytime. Have if, you ever seen? Have you ever watched other than the one with Chevy Chase, which you probably haven't watched? The Invisible Man, yeah. any Invisible Man show that you've watched, mm-hmm. they're bad. 
Yeah. When have you watched one that they're good? No, that's exactly my point. Yeah. Everybody that's like, no, I do that. And I'm like, oh, okay, because I know where this is going. And I'm like, well, why would you do that? They're always like, because you could go into a bank and steal money, you idiot. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that's the only reason it would be good. Is the, I can think of another, well, but this is yeah, a kid Girls' friendly locker show. room. Yes, no, we know. We know. That's everybody's, but too. The Flash. I would be the Flash. See, I'm yep. lazy. I don't like running. So I choose mm-hmm. teleportation because that literally does the same thing. Yeah, like, but I, I, boop, Gonzo. I I get it, but I still would be the Flash. Well, and honestly, so here's the thing: does does the superpower include all the things? So, Flash has super speed, which gives him a higher metabolism, right. which also allows him to heal faster because his body's constantly right. moving. Do you get those powers as well, or no? Well, yeah. If you become the Flash, you become. All of the Flash. And one, because if you can run that fast, it means your joints can hold that up, which means you could kick through a human being, right? Probably, like you could, yeah. Not probably, you could. If you yeah. could run as fast as the speed of sound, yeah. you could easily just like, boom, and like kill people. Right. Um, uh, well, uh, okay, have you seen um, The Boys? It's all, it's no, an Amazon. I haven't. The Amazon one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, so it's like the dark side of what superheroes are. And they have a Flash. I can't remember what they call him. Um Something speedster, uh, something. Yeah. And uh, a spoiler alert for the first episode: uh, the Flash runs, so he's saving somebody, and as he does, it shows like this couple, this regular couple, and he's—I can't remember if he's proposing to his girl or that he just proposed, and like he's standing in front of her, he's about to lean in and give her a kiss, and the Flash runs by and hits her and explodes her, <laughs> and. Then he's like, and so he's like left holding her hand, like, ha, ha. so then the people that like employ the superheroes have to pay him off, and they're trying to convince him to like take this money. So they're like the real side because that would happen. Yeah, and that's my well. So if, you, if you if he accidentally hits somebody, oh yeah, you're going to explode them. Yeah, and that's that's so that's that's one reason again teleportation <laughs> super easy never have to worry about that. Well, but what if you didn't know and you miss judge where you were teleporting and like, that's why you always Pew. teleport a little bit into the sky right not low enough that a plane wouldn't be there but high enough that the only thing you'd be in is a bird and birds. so that you could like look and I'll make pin, like, yeah so you would see then you could see where you're going then you could teleport there right <laughs> so i'd be like tokyo japan about 20 feet up above a building boom there boom but because again i'll punch a pigeon right in his face but what so, if you didn't Okay, so what if you thought, okay, you saw a picture of you in your mind. You're like, okay, pff, pff, go here. So teleportation, do you have, like, are you clairvoyant? Can you see, like, where you're going? Because if Not you until, just have to know. If you're yeah, like, you have to know. What's his face on the X-Men that uh, teleports like that? Yeah. Um, well, there's two. There's Maverick, and then there's no, the not other Maverick. One there's about. a that he can he could take other people with him. He's like the but, blue guy. Yeah, but he has to know. He has Nightcrawler. To, Nightcrawler. He Got has it. to be able to know and see where he's going. Yeah. Right. I mean, he can. He can go. But if so, let's say you go and you do that, and now you're like you're uh, shish kebabed on a pole somewhere. Well, yeah. So uh, again, I think you, you have to. You're know. not going to have time to be like, uh oh, I'm getting filleted by this pole now i gotta teleport somewhere so, else yeah. and then it's too late yeah so you would have to go to places and know where you're teleporting well th- right what what but what is what it tell what, what do you mean you gotta go places so and- you would have to you'd have to see it in your mind i would say you'd have to see okay. the place you're going in your mind but then it would be too hard but like the you the amount of research you'd have to do to like teleport to the, i just run there and be there because then i can avoid all the little things and then, One, boom, you there. get picked up by radar, which is not what you want. <laughs> okay, you, you're thinking about this. You, 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 no, I just like, do. <laughs> you know what I would do? I'd teleport onto a plane. There's an empty seat. Then I'd sit there, right? I'd be like that plane, oh. that plane. Boo! Yeah, <laughs> we're going to Mexico. Go. <laughs> um, or I would just travel a bunch of places and then eventually have, uh, you know, it would give you a reason to travel because if you could teleport with other people, yeah, then really. You just saved a ton on Disneyland Adventures. Yeah, everyone grabs a hand and you're yeah. like, pew, pew. yeah. Oh, here Boom. we are. Yeah, I, I would teleport to Disneyland. Disney well, World. That's, something that's you a do. safe teleport. Well, and even if you think about it, you could, you could get on a plane, go to Japan. You'd go into the apartment. You're like, hey, nobody's in here. Lock the doors. Teleport home. Right. You'd have to tell your family like FaceTime. Uh, really, what you do is what you FaceTime. 
oh, you set your phone there, teleport back home, and then you're like, here we are. Okay, so here's the other thing. If you teleport somewhere and there's a, it's a crowd, are you like, do you teleport and like now you shove them out of the way? Or no, you teleport so and it's like, mm. I think that it would go like D&D rules. If you teleport in the same space as a square, you have to make a save. So I would say that you would have to try to hurry and move out of the way. Like you would immediately see that you're going to teleport in this person, and you got to immediately move out of the way. Uh, Otherwise, you teleport yeah. inside them. And just Oops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> However, if that's the case, though, the only reason why I don't know, I, I think the shoving out of the way is less overpowered, though, because if, if you, me and yeah, you are yeah. fighting and you're standing there like you're super fast, you're like, come at me, and then I teleport, I could just be like, I'll teleport with my hand in his head, and then you would die. That's right? true. That's overpowered. Yeah. So I don't know. Kind of depends on how you go. Huh. Teleportation is really great. It is. I'm not going to say it's not, but I still would take the flash. I think speed's good, too. I yeah. think speed's the second best. Yeah. Because you don't have to move that fast. So you could be a UFC fighter, right? You could be, uh, yeah, any kind of fighter. Yeah. Like, just see it coming and be like, Whoop. yeah, exactly. You just, like, <laughs> but then you'd have to be very careful because, like, the speed, the power that you would put into that, you really hurt somebody. You could yeah. explode them. Yeah, but you, you, do you fake punch your kids? I do. <laughs> I don't, not my own. I fake punch his, and I do it so enough that it doesn't hurt. So, uh, I, I think that's the. Those are the three worst, three best. Oh well, you know what? Actually, in there, Green Lantern. I wanted to like Ooh, Green Lantern yeah. with I Ryan did Reynolds. I, I didn't. Mm, mm. So I would agree. I would agree. I totally forgot about that. That's how good it is. Yeah, I saw it once and I was like, <laughs> God, dude, nope, I'm not watching that. Ryan, again. didn't you read the script and go like, <laughs> No, uh, don't wrong. Uh, a lot of it was CGI. Was the worst part about it, mm. but that was bad. One that I'm super excited for. My second favorite villain okay. or antihero is uh, Taskmaster. Mm. And he's going to be in the new Black Widow movie. I did not now, know that. I hate Black Widow. I don't hate Black I don't, Widow. I don't, I'm she's not sure how I feel useless. about it with a show of her own, though. Yeah, she's so know. useless. But Taskmaster is going to be in it, and Taskmaster is awesome. So Taskmaster's power, for anybody that doesn't know, is he can see something once and immediately know how to do it. Right. So he's, like, amazing at everything. <clears throat> um, usually he's Deadpool's villain, and Deadpool beats him because he's so unpredictable. Mm-hmm. So he can predict your movement because he's got super yeah. eyes. So I don't know how Black Canary is going to beat him, but she'll probably just call <laughs> one of the other Avengers. <laughs> yeah, useless bitch. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Black. Wait a minute. Black Canary is not Avengers. Yes, she is. Black Widow. Okay. That's Black what Widow, you not meant. Black Canary. Yeah. Black Widow. Don't confuse me here. Black okay, Widow. I'm... Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. Okay. Um. You said my favorite three favorite three favorite movies. Um. I'm gonna I'm gonna put Deadpool on there. Deadpool's a good one. Deadpool, the first one. Second one was okay, but it was just a play off the the first. The first, yeah. Um. I'm uh uh Wolverine, just the Wolverine one. Yeah. yeah. Um. When he's older, and are you talking uh now Logan? Logan, yes. Logan yes. was great. That's a good one. Fantastic. Um, and then my third, hmm, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, oh, you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say because it's just it, I'm gonna go nostalgic and it was one of my favorites. It's the very first Superman. Back in the eight seventies, I think. It was. I hate Superman. I hate every. I love Henry Cavill. Listen, when you're like. Five years old, and that's the movie that comes on. And wow, you just showed your age there. <laughs> I don't even care. And it was it was so wonderful I, as a kid to see something, and you're like, "Wow, he could do that!" Like it was awesome. See, even me as a kid, I'm like, "Wait a minute, you're trying to tell me he's super strong, super fast. He can blow ice. He can do lasers. He can do this and do this." But his weakness is a rock. That guy's stupid. I hate him. <laughs> I hate everything about him. Uh. I, yeah, I really, I, I never big Superman guy. Just yeah. as a kid, I can see that. how people would like Superman. He's not my favorite. Um, not even, not yeah. any of his movies. The only but, thing, Diane Lane and his as his mom, dude. Diane Lane does not age. Anyway, uh, I think that's a good one. Um, Logan, just, just regard that. <laughs> Logan, uh, Logan was a good one. I actually did you hear? Did you hear that? Uh, I was reading about. I love reading like theories that people mm-hmm. have. Oh yeah, I, certain things. Sometimes and, it drives me crazy, but yeah. Yeah, but a lot of them I'm like, that's pretty good because I'm kind of one of a conspiracy theories. Mm-hmm. We'll do a, a video on that. I love conspiracy theories. Um, so one of them is that Logan killed all the mutants, and that's why yeah. uh, Xavier is constantly going like, "I can't believe you did that." Yeah, it's because he killed them all, which is kind of cool. 
Um, I do like the X Men shows. Um, there was one in particular. The shows I, it's like, or the movies? The, I'm sorry, the movies. I think it was like X Men three. <sighs> Uh, that was not good. Oh, that it, was garbage. It, where they they're like fighting in a neighborhood, and they're like sucking in like uh, Magneto and uh, Xavier are fighting, and it's just destroying everything. Is like, well, are you t- so? There's one. The third one's with Dark Phoenix or with Phoenix. Uh, Jean Grey turns into Phoenix, and Logan has to go up and stab her. And you're yeah, just I'm like, pretty sure this that's the same one. It, 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 yeah, I fell asleep. I think it took me five tries to go because I kept falling asleep. So it's in it's in the top five of bad ones, but some of the other ones are really good. I do I do like I like the X Men because what I like about the X Men as superheroes is, it's they're like they're like regular people that have powers, yeah. which doesn't make sense when I just said that aloud. But you know what I mean? Like it's like oh Tommy in class now all of a sudden he's Cyclops, yeah, and like holy shit that's really cool. That's what I like about the X Men. Because, like Superman or um, Green Lantern and all these, they're from somewhere else. Yeah. And X Men are just dudes. In one of classroom. my favorite ones was that. So I like the first one because it was it was good. It was a good movie. Yeah, it was original. Um, it was Halle Berry one. is Storm. You got yep. Wolverine. And great. she was a great Storm, by the way. Yeah, I thought she was a great mm-hmm. Storm. Um, it, I love that. Fra the the ice guy is so horny. <laughs> he doesn't even care that touching this girl. Will will kill, kill him. him. <laughs> he's just will kill him. He's sitting there oh, going yeah, just he like touches. Uh, what's her face? Uh, and it, it sucks the power. Yeah. Oh, out what's her name? Uh, Rogue. Yeah. He's just like, oh, come on, just a tip. <laughs> <laughs> come on. She's like, okay. When she's like, uh, seriously, it'll kill you. He's like, come on, just take it off. Come on. <laughs> uh, what an idiot. <laughs> It was such a like. It was sitting there going like. Do, on, so on one hand, yeah. on one hand, you're like, "Come on, is he that stupid?" And you're like, "I'm a man. I am totally yeah, that stupid. I would, I would if totally you had risk the it." The one girl who's kind of like into you, mm-hmm. and she mm-hmm. was just like, "Anything I touch dies." You're like, uh, "Maybe I'm the chosen one. <laughs> Let's try it out." <laughs> you cannot tell me though, as a man, and um, anyone else that listens to this, that after that happens in your head, you're thinking, "How could he if he?" Pre- prevented this and what's he going to do in the future because i would die again i would every part like uh you probably have you ever seen uh, naked gun Mm-mm. okay the old comedies they're stupid they're terrible and um there's a there's a sex scene in it and the guy says to the girl i only practice safe sex and the next scene is them and they're they're in like full body bag condoms oh uh, okay anyway that's what I'd be doing. Well, you're sitting there going, like, all right, so how I, I, can I do this? She's into me, and she's the only girl that's into me. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing, because you're at a school with, like, 20 kids, right? And <laughs> most of them are dudes. You're sitting there going, like, all right, that girl, okay, okay, she's with him, she's with him. She's... Yeah. Oh, this girl. Process of elimination Yeah, here. Well, and you're sitting there like, nobody's talked to that girl. Oh, because she can touch you and die? Oh, what can I do? <laughs> uh. So yeah, that's uh Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. I probably still would have. Um good for that guy. So <laughs> um Yeah, she that that movie was was good. The second one I, I didn't like I thought Nightcrawler could have been a lot cooler and he was kinda weird. Um, yeah. That was yeah. just kinda stupid. Yeah, uh, some, Toad was Ray Park and that's kinda cool. Yeah. Ray that Park was also awesome. I did like that one. Mm-hmm. Uh other good superhero, like I said, I I think out of all the Marvel movies, I think Ragnarok was probably my favorite. Oh yeah, that was um, awesome. Out of, I I was very disappointed in um, Fat Thor. Ah, uh, me too. Because that was the thing. Why would you do Thor that? was my dude, right? Out of all of them, I'm like Thor is my dude, and then they made him fat and like this like. Oh, I'm not as good, and you're like, dude, that's my guy. That was the guy I was rooting for. Yeah, it, like you get out of Ragnarok, and now that's what you've got with him. And then I thought, and and I was it, even when it first came, and I was like, okay, you know, we could. I thought for sure at the end battle when they were going, he would all of a sudden just be because he's Thor. Mm-hmm. He'd just be like whoosh, shredded again. Yeah, and they left him fat. I know. I hated that. That I did love me, the beard and the the hair. 
Yeah, I did but, like that, but yeah, he was fat. This I, is you, how uncultured uh, and or, or I think this is how cultured yet uneducated I've made my child. We were at the doctor's, <laughs> and she has to do a visual test, right? She has to she has to see, and she has to. Uh huh. Yeah. And instead of using um l- like letters, like for most adults, because they don't know if kids are going to do that, they put up pictures. Yeah, they do so shapes they like and things. So like a sailboat, a circle, yep. and then my daughter gets one. She goes. She has her hand over her eye. She's like, Captain America flag. And I was like, oh, my <laughs> God. I was so embarrassed for a second sitting there going like, my daughter doesn't even know that's like the American flag. She thinks it's Captain America's. God, I have what have I raised? I'm kind of proud, but I'm kind of like, oh, my gosh. And the doctor's like, nope. And then I got angry because <laughs> she was like, no, it's the And I'm like, <laughs> Technically, it is, ladies. Like, look, we can argue all day, but that is Captain America's flag. So my daughter wasn't wrong. <laughs> I'm making her stupid. Put it on me. She got that right. Her eyes are just perfect. But every time she sees it, she'll be like, so we'll play I Spy in the car. She'll be like, I spy with my little eye. Also, actually, I'll do it because I'll mm. see a flag. I'll be like, I spy with my little eye, something red, white, and blue. She's like, is it the Captain America flag, Daddy? And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I'm not even going to teach her different, unfortunately. It's a Captain America flag. Well, you never said your top three. Oh, uh, my top three favorites? Yeah. You gave, like, some of the ones you really liked, and you piggybacked mine. I did, you put, well, I piggybacked you, your, your your stupid ones, because those are the ones, ones uh, I was yeah. going to choose. I was going to choose Green Lantern instead of the second oh, yeah. Spider-Man, but then I remembered the spi- second Spider-Man was a thing, and then I decided, <laughs> or the second, the Two-Face and the Riddler, that's uh-huh. what I was talking about. Um, I think my favorite movies, Dark Knight is good. I don't think he was a mm. great Joker, but it did have a real, that was a really good movie. It's one, uh, you know what? No, I'm going to take that back. Batman, the first one of those, uh, Batman rises. No, begins. Dark Knight rises. No, no, no. The first one. It's like Batman begins or something. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. I think you're right. I think you're right. Uh, I can't remember the one with like... Liam Neeson being Ray al Ghul. That was amazing. Cause you have like the beginning story of Batman, uh, so and that's thing it can be broken up into different things the whole problem with the Dark Knight is you have to watch all three hours of it so it's yes. such a it's such a tedious like oh dude I've got to put Dark in... Knight no no Dark Knight not that Dark Knight the first one with who with Ray Shagul with Liam Neeson Dark Knight is with Heath Ledger as the Joker yeah so that one I like Batman Begins more than I like Dark Knight Dark Knight was a great movie oh you're talking that same series? Yes, that same series, but the first uh, one. Isn't that the first one? No, no, no. Dark Knight's the second. Do not. Do bro. I know. But bro. I know. Okay. So what is, it? is it Batman Begins? Uh it, so are we talking any comic book movie? You, well, the, you said that your f- top three favorite superhero movies. Okay, cool. That, that's all right. Okay. So, Batman Begins, um, Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. Great movie. It's got, uh, it ha- they pre- put back Mark Hamill. It's got Kevin Conroy as the as oh, okay. Bruce yeah, Wayne. Yeah, what are you talking about? And he comes in. Great movie. Uh, my third, okay, I'm not going to choose a Batman one for my third one. Not a Batman one. What's another comic book movie? What's one more? All I need is one. One more. Oh, my God. I can't. It's hard, isn't it? It's hard, isn't it? Uh, You know what? If I have to go Marvel, it's got to be Ragnarok. I love that movie. That movie is a really good movie. It is good. It is good. What did you think about uh, Doctor Strange? I like Doctor Strange, actually. I think that's a good. I I would say it's an honorable mention. Yeah. I I enjoyed his character. I I thought he did a good job. Um, I I really enjoyed him in um, what the hell is the last uh, Avengers one? Endgame. Endgame. I even thought he did a great job in those, like the last two. I thought he did great. Yeah. I I really liked um, Doctor Strange's character. I thought it was yeah. awesome. I love that he's like this smart guy. That, yeah. Like, I like the little like magician thing. I think. And I think cool. the actor they got for it was was the, right. The one problem they have with the Avengers is they scale down everybody to be the same even though they are definitely not. Yeah. Um one guy can stop time, Doctor Strange. He can stop time. But well, how um how in the world is the Hulk all of a sudden you put glasses on him now he's the same size as um Iron Man? Yeah, I don't know. Like they uh, sit in a cafe, I'll be back. Edward Norton was my favorite Hulk. Um, I loved Ed Ed Norton. I was really sad when they didn't have him and they put Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo was great. 
but I think he was better. That makes me angry because I love Edward Norton. He's great in everything he does. Plus, Liv Tyler is a babe. Yes. So yes. that movie was great. Yeah. I actually really enjoyed that movie. You know her dad's like 5'1". Yeah, and like weird. Yeah. I, I ran into him um, once at uh, the airport, <clears throat> and I was uh, I was excited. It's just Steven yeah. Tyler. So he's over there, and I'm like, hey, I'm going to go over and get a photo and an autograph from him. And he comes up to, like, here on me. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a little guy. <laughs> just put you in my pocket. <laughs> I thought about kidnapping him and then saying, give me some money, and then I'll let you go, but I did not. Whatever. I'd be like, yeah. hey. Give me your daughter's phone number now. <laughs> he had a lot of bodyguards. Yeah, they always do. Yeah. Pussies. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I uh, Green Lantern would have been a good movie. Um, I, I really can't go. I, th- I have to do Ragnarok just because I can't think of anything right now. That's I know a, there's that's another a good one. one, though. I, yeah, I, I, but I know there's a that. better, but I just can't think of it. So Ragnarok's probably got to be my next one. Um, I was not a huge fan of the... Uh, the Captain America Winter Soldier. See, I actually really liked that one. I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was mediocre. They, I thought the other ones, they had done it. Okay, so what, uh, the Spider-Man, the new Spider-Man, the amazing Spider-Mans. I like those. Honestly, so I. I really like that kid. Uh, he's I know. super likable. I'm going to be honest, though. You want to hate him, but you don't. I don't like Zendaya's Mary Jane. They're like no, MJ. Yeah, I don't yeah. like that. Um, she's a babe. <laughs> I just yeah. think they should have named her something else. Again, this is one of those times where I'm like, you just have name freedom. Her. Yeah, yeah, you have freedom. Name her something else. Who cares if yeah. it's Mary Jane, MJ, whatever. Yeah. Just give him a new booty thing that he's going for, right? <laughs> yeah. Name her Zenda. I don't care. Yeah. Just I, I, don't name her Mary Jane. I love when he gets the suit that's been like um, modified, uh, Iron Man. Yeah. It's so cool. That's way cool. Yeah. Those they. I think they did a good job on the the because you kind of had to save yourself from. Um, Toby Maguire. Yeah. After that happened, and that was a well, they did that before. They did one before that. They had a different Spider-Man. That was oh before. yeah, they did. Yeah, there and was that, one in the middle. That one wasn't that bad. No. Um, I don't think. Uh, but we can't even really remember it, so does yeah. it count? No, not really. Yeah. That no, was uh-uh. no. The Spider-Mans are pretty good. I really liked yeah. the last one. Uh, the. Like the one where they're out of the country. Yeah, it's like going, which is really funny because that actor coming home or. Going home or something? No, like no, no. That's the one that's coming. coming. Far from home or oh, something. Oh, far, like that. yeah. It's really funny. That actor is from England, so it was like two miles from his house. <laughs> but it's the ones like, far from home. And he's like, no, seriously, I just live around the corner. <laughs> um, that's how they all talk, you know. Yeah, it is, yeah. They sound uh, like whiny yeah. schoolgirls, huh? Uh, all they're really good. Honestly, Black Panther was a really good movie. Ooh, yeah. I that was awesome. Black Panther. That was, that was awesome. Um, I'm going to be honest, though. I thought the other... Uh, suit was cooler and i think you should have taken it uh the black and yellow <laughs> yeah. one way cooler than the black and purple just yep. saying you should have taken it <laughs> um yeah that was a really good movie i honestly thought it had a lot of good i did like i also liked uh ant-man yeah to, paul uh, rudd is hard to hate yeah it he's is. a good guy I like yeah him. even ant-man <gasps> and uh the wasp. the wasp dude that is a no- dude yeah. they get hot girls for that she is also in the lord of the rings as that yeah. elf and every time i talk <laughs> to her i'm like you're so hot that I you talk to her, yeah. Well, we'll call her up. Let's... No, I'm schizophrenic. I, I can <laughs> talk to her through the movie. Okay, Joker. Uh, she is so hot. Like, because she's also very personable. She's kind of like uh. What's well, that? you would know when you talk to her. Well, you see her on TV shows. You see her on like Craig. <laughs> what's that guy's List. name? No, I wish. <laughs> I'd pay all the money. I would put up my house for sale. <laughs> right. Totally. Totally leave okay. my wife okay. and family. Um, so, <laughs> no, she's gorgeous. Um, she's so funny. I, I yeah, actually like her. Those I thought were actually, they're, they kind of slipped through the cracks because they came out of, like, in-betweens. Yeah. Have you ever looked at, like, the timeline of when and the order of how you're supposed to watch all those shows? No, because I don't care. Like, it's nutty. Well, and that's the thing. You're, it would you're, take a week. Exactly. But, Every so day. They did that before Avengers, the last Avengers Endgame at the movie theaters. They're like, we're going to play. It's like legit. It was close to 48 hours. And they were like, we're going to play all the movies in the order in which you're supposed to watch them ending with Endgame. And I'm oh. like, no. Uh-uh. No way nope. you'd be able to do that. No way. I would not want to do that. No. 
And and as a human, as a, as a human, like you or anything else, <laughs> we're definitely not a, anything else. <laughs> as as a person, you like you. I gotta sleep. I'm not gonna be able to stay up to that. So I'm sleeping through some of the Iron lesser, Man too, and probably the third. I yeah. fell asleep through the third. Um, I kind of uh, the first one, yes. Great. Second one, I could probably get through. The third one, I'm gone. I couldn't. It was I'm it was gone. Mickey Rorick with whips, and I'm like, <laughs> boring. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep through this one. Oh. I will make you love pain. You're like, can we get a Russian actor to play a Russian <laughs> character? Most of the time, I'm totally cool with uh, an actor fake playing accents, a fake yeah. accent. That one's oh, you know what? Sorry, this actually made me think of this. Blade, another mm, great comic yeah. book movie. Great comic book movie. Yeah. I love Blade. I don't want them to remake it unless they remake it with Wesley Snipes uh, again. Wasn't he so good in that? Oh, my God. He's I, great, I just dude. had this conversation not even a few weeks ago about that show. I love that. Yeah. One I they should think remake. it's fantastic. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, he's, uh, he's awesome. He, he does a great job. He nails, like, all parts of what his character's supposed to be. Um, cause he's, he's half, right? Like he's half vampire, vampire. half human mm-hmm. and he does so good. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so if good. I could do one thing like Wesley Snipes, only one thing I only get, uh, you know, God you're gonna, gives me, yeah, you pick one, get pick one. It's not his kicks. It's not his awesome fighting. It's not his basketball it's his profile. It's, it's no, it's the way he says motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he says it mother. Like he says it like such I, like yeah. nobody else has ever said it. Like it's chocolate. Like, like I well, just want to eat it. What about that or Samuel L. Jackson? No, no, no. Samuel L. Jackson's like mother. It's different. Yeah, that is true. It's it's like this weird so chocolate. Samuel, oh, Samuel L. Jackson says it, and it's God. like you want to hurt somebody now. Yeah. He says it, and you're like, oh, we should teach that in school. Yeah, exactly. You're sitting there going <laughs> like, you're like, dude, like, because everybody says when you say the f word, you're like uncultured, right? Um, he says it, and I'm like. Dude, I just love how you, I ju- I could just listen to that on a loop. Yeah. Mother, f- and you're just like yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, I love how he says that. Uh, um, Wesley Snipes is awesome. Yeah. You should. Um, I mean, he after doesn't he doesn't do anything anymore. No, ever since tax evasion, they've kind of like <laughs> halted his uh, his, his acting. acting. He's like, wait, I gotta pay taxes. Um, <laughs> I'm Blade. Yeah. <laughs> We should allow him to not pay taxes, actually. I just realized we should start yeah, a petition uh-huh. where the government doesn't charge Wesley yeah, Snipes with taxes. Yeah, leave yeah. him alone. Yeah. He created a great show. Uh, Spawn is one they should redo. Blade, I don't think oh. he really... I watch Blade now. I've seen Blade I, in the last, like, two years, and so, I honestly still thought it was a good movie. But I've, Spawn I've, is garbage. I've seen Spawn probably 200 times. It's a great movie for its time. Yeah. But it's garbage I, now. I, it was garbage then. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't That's that great like, then. But it's but not I love, good now. I love, though, that whole... F- and I I thought that they were going to... I Every couple of years, I'll look up, like, Spawn remake, but no one has. I thought they were going to do it a few years ago, but, man, I want them to I do think, it so Doesn't Warner bad. Brothers own them? Probably. Cause, so it's Dark Horse Comics. It's not uh, DC or Marvel. Right. I think that Warner Brothers does. That's why I think that he's in the Bat or the Mortal Kombat games. I'm oh, pretty sure be. they own him. Yeah, I, I, I the really, rights to him. yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Um, I really wish they would because I love the character and I that that movie. Uh, who's the bad guy? Fat. Oh, the clown. What's his name? It's Louis Guizamo or whatever is the, that thing. Recast that movie as the don't recast it. Just have the same cast. That guy, he's burned to hell anyway. Yeah. You know, he doesn't need to look young. Have him. He's a great <laughs> actor. Um, have the same old guy again. He can be old, fat, and ugly. He, Spawn looks so cool. He though, is, man. dude. He's awesome. And it's all mm. hell based, dude. Awesome. Yeah. Another they, hell based one. Great Constantine. Yeah. That was a great one. Great yes. movie. That's yeah. honestly, actually, if I was to say my favorite, that's gonna be my third favorite. Is Constantine. I love Constantine. Ooh. Wow, look at you pulling out a uh, one from left field. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Spawn. Uh, I'm sorry to go back to Spawn. Um, I, I'm trying to find the stupid villain's uh, actual name. Oh, yeah. John Leguizamo. Oh, you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the clown. Yeah. So, oh, man. He's. Mm, the, the character. Just 
for anyone listening, just Google it. It's awful. It's oh, so the graphics are awful. Get yeah. past the graphics. Honestly, it's a great movie. Yeah, it is. Um, it, they should remake it because they uh, could make to, it uh, awesome. I now. Yes, I want them to so bad. It's one of my favorites, and I like I said, every couple of years, I'm like, oh, they're gonna make it now, and then they just aren't. Yeah, I don't know why. To. I really wish. Well, and that's the thing. Warner Brothers, they were smart because that's a, that could be a dark movie. Yeah, and a dark, yeah. great movie. Yep, that they should redo that. DC, I know you're listening. You've got to yeah. be one of our only three. <laughs> you need to remake. Hey, DC. Hey, uh, yo, DC. <laughs> uh, you need to remake that because that movie is that yeah. would be an amazing movie. Uh, never make remake Constantine again. That was great. Never remake Blade <laughs> unless you're going to remake it with Wesley Snipes again. Yeah, I, um, I. That's what I'm worried about is some of those they redo and and then they just butcher it because they try and use all the CGI and they try and use like new love affairs and like the movies you see now you yeah. know like if it doesn't have those particular elements in it then they are not going to redo them yeah it's like um the transformers i know it's you know the transformers like the first one was like okay and then each one after that you're like what are you doing yeah they're trying to add a new really lady. quick really quick i don't like to bring race into anything it is a little racist in transformer that the only car that dies on the good side is the black car <laughs> uh, he's he's what a Pontiac Solstice or something, yeah. and he's like, "What's up, mother?" And he gets ripped in half, and I'm like, "Hey, is anybody gonna address it?" <laughs> I don't want to say that he's racist, but literally the only one that dies is the Isn't one that, that acts black. That's kind of racist. Yeah, I mean, usually I'm totally like, "Hey, let's not bring it in." That was I remember even watching that show, going, "Hey, I think, hey, this is right." <laughs> Are we going to say anything about it? I really it hope they kill another character because otherwise this looks really bad. Yeah. And they should have killed Shia LaBeouf, but that's not the point. Um, <laughs> Actually, I like the one with Marky Mark. Yeah, that one. That was pretty good. Did you know that that girl that's in that is Jason Statham's wife? Yeah. His wife? Yeah, or maybe fiance or girlfriend. I don't well, who know. cares? That yeah, really? Jason Statham gets that. Wow. Because he talks like this. It's as long yeah. as my arm, and I wish it was as long as something else. Uh, um, <laughs> Jason a, Statham's awesome, though. He is I love great. him. I Why love isn't him. he a superhero? Put him in a superhero know. movie. I don't know, because he plays a better villain. Yeah, I think he plays a good villain. A, a in what good, movie does it? Okay, not a play? villain, a, but a good, like, hard-ass bad guy. I don't know if he's, like, a... Taskmaster. He would have been a cool Taskmaster. Okay. Yeah, I could see that. Or but, anything. But I don't... Um, I don't I don't. Just like put a, him in a movie. Like... <laughs> Put him in another one, please. Please. I anyway. love everyone. Even okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna hurry and touch on Jason Statham, and then I don't know how long we've been on, but we can slowly go on. If that. Jason Statham in Transporter movies, yeah. they are garbage. The first but, one, great. And he's like this little Asian girl, and he's like, I just want the juice, and he's like, Oh my god, and he gives her juice, and then he yeah. like, and he like makes sweet love to her, and you're like, All right, I could get behind this. The second one, he goes for a mom, and I'm like, Dude, you still have that hot Asian girl, right? <laughs> in your trunk, I'm assuming. Then he goes for mom, whatever, and he does that stupid car flip. I'm like, it's getting kind of out of hand. Then you have the third one, that Russian girl, super hot. But all that lady would talk about is food, and it drove mm. me crazy. She'd be like, he'd be like, whoa, uh, look on Google Maps, see how we can get in here. All right, that was terrible <laughs> British accent. But then she'd be like, because I was going to her part, but she'd be like, but then I eat the potatoes and the carrots and the, and you're like, oh my God, lady, shut up. You have Jason <laughs> Statham right next to you. Yeah. They're uh, about to have sex and she's like, potatoes and rosemary and butter. <laughs> and you're like, lady, shut up about food. You're uh, an idiot. I I love his stupid shows, man. I think he's I think he's right. He's coming out in one in uh, this year, Wrath of Man. I don't know what it's about, but that's what it is. Worst movies ever made have got to be cranks. I was just <laughs> <laughs> the worst I was movies. Just gonna say, God, those movies oh. are awful. I watched all of them, but so only because. <laughs> I only watched it because he's in them. Exactly. And I'm like, how stupid can they get now? Oh, oh. my God, those are so bad. If you, the uh, second one, uh. if you're ever doing LSD and you're looking through movies, <laughs> don't watch that because that will kill you. Uh. Those are bad. Oh, there's. Only... I know those aren't comic book movies, but no, still. yeah, I don't know. We got on a tangent there. Um, Vin Diesel. Is speaking also of garbage. terrible movies, God, he is terrible. What's the the movie where he's in where he, he like he can only see in the dark? Oh, Pitch Black. He's awful, and I think the show's awful. It's that was another one I watched a lot of. Unfortunately, 
I'm like, this is so bad. Replay. <laughs> <laughs> you, oh, nope, nope. Hold on, hold on. I actually have to stop all this. Okay. I'm sorry. Worst comic book movies. All of I have all of those beat. Every one of those that you just mentioned. And that's hard to do. Catwoman. Have you ever seen Catwoman? <laughs> oh my god, that's the worst movie on this planet. Not only oh, no. is that the worst comic oh, yeah. book movie, that is the worst movie. Now, yeah, spoiler, that is. Terrible. I'm not even gonna say spoiler it, alert because it, I am only saving it. you. Yeah, the main bad guy is like Maybelline. It's some <laughs> lady who turns her uh, her skin into concrete with makeup. Yeah, she does that, and legitimately, all of the CGI. I think Halle Berry in the Catwoman oh, suit only did so one awful. thing. She did this. Yeah, it's and awful. Then that's it. So they would show her crawling up, and then it'd be like. <laughs> that's it that's all she did it's the worst movie by far she mm -hmm. licks her uh, dude it is so bad oh my god i sorry i forgot that movie that movie yeah, is the worst I, movie I on the too. planet halle berry should have known better which makes it even worse oh my god that movie was awful yeah it's yeah i watched it once I'm I'm pretty sure I fell asleep through most of it, and I kept waking up like, "Is this still going?" <laughs> it's bad. My buddy told me not to watch it, so I was naturally will. Yeah, so I was like, ah, "I really want to cut my wrist. I can either cut my wrist or I can watch <laughs> this movie." And I did, and I should have cut my wrist. It would have been less uh, painful. It was awful. Oh yeah, it was awful. Oh my god, it was uh, it was awful. So if you guys have um, better move or worse movies than Catwoman did you want? Let me know what your favorite movies are on uh, on all of our channels. Um, if you're on YouTube, like and subscribe, comment anything. It's the best thing you can do. Hit that little notification if you can. Um, on Facebook, uh, you know, add us as your friends so you know when we're going on. And uh, on Twitch, obviously, uh, follow us. Or if you're super kind, subscribe. I'll give you a little kisses. Um, <laughs> and then kind of to end this on this thing, we're in a – we were kind of hating on a lot of movies. And right now we're in a time of a lot of hate. So just be good to each other. Be positive. Think of uh, something you can do nice for somebody and do it, whether that's going raking your grandma's leaves or something. It, whatever you got to do is nice. If somebody is Rake leaves in the spring. Yeah, rake leaves in the spring. I didn't do it, so I have to do it in the spring. <laughs> I don't do it in the fall. Uh I hope that they blow into my neighbor's yard. So <laughs> do some, if somebody, it, it makes you a better person because of how you see them act, right? Somebody, you know, that's just a really good person. They make you want to be a better person. Tell them, like make them feel good about themselves. Be a good person. Uh, don't hate so much. If we focus less on the people that we hate and more on the people we love, we would, uh, this place would be a lot better for it. So do that uh, again, really like, and subscribe and stuff. You guys can be hateful people all you want, but like, and subscribe first, then be positive. Okay? And uh, love you guys. Thanks, guys, for tuning in and tune in next week.